Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I'm so very glad that you are here to learn with me today. Today's learning goal is to find half of a double number. And we are gonna do it in a very fun way. Let's take a look at some doubled numbers. Hmm, our double numbers our double numbers are even numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And we are going to take a closer look at my board and find half of all of these double numbers. Are you ready? Class today, we are going to be dividing these double numbers in half or subtracting half of the double. This is the first number that we are going to subtract half of it. This is the number two, so I have two pennies. We are gonna subtract half. Hmm, that would be one. One plus one equals two. I'm gonna do it this way. I am going to subtract half of the number by dividing the number in half. One plus one, one plus one equals two. Well, let's try this with another number, the number four. We are gonna subtract half of the number. Hmm, I'm gonna put half over here, that is two, and half over here, it's two. Two plus two equals four. Hmm, we could also say that four take away two is two. When we take two away from four, we're subtracting half of it. All right, let's try our next one. It's the number six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we subtract half, we would be subtracting three from six. Three plus three equals six. Six take away three equals three. When you practice yours, I would like for you to use little objects. I'm using pennies, but maybe you could use rocks. And you just need to make sure that you have the same number on each side so it will be even or balanced. If you have a scale at home, you could try it with a scale as well. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, well if we subtract half of this number, it would be four. Four plus four equals eight, or eight, Take away four, take away half is four. And I erased my numbers by accident. All right, well, let's try our next number. Our next number is 10. Hmm. If I were to subtract half of the number of 10, do you know what numbers I would be using? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are they equal? We have five on one side and five on the other. Five plus five is ten, but if we have ten and we subtract half of the number, one, two, three, four, five. We would be subtracting five. Let's take a look at this on our board. One, Minus two equals one. Four minus, hmm, what is half of four? We have four and then we are going to subtract two. Four minus two is two. Six minus, hmm, what is half of six? You're right, it's three. Six minus or take away three is three. What is half? Eight. Half of it is four. Eight. And I know that you know that half of ten is five because we have ten fingers. If we take 
take away half, we are left with 5, 10. Take away 5 is 5. Hmm. You can practice this with pennies. You can practice this with a number bond like 5 plus 5 equals 10. We can just crack 10 right open and divide it into two groups. I would like for you to practice this today. You can practice it with subtracting little objects. You can practice it by writing your subtraction facts like this. Or you can practice it with a number bond like this. Eight. And divide it in half. We have four and four for eight. Well class, thank you so very much for solving some of these math riddles with me. I hope that you had fun finding half of a double number. I would like for you to practice. See if you could do it with some really big numbers. I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.